Natsu-san! Natsu-san! Oh, hey, what's going on, Naito? When are you going to leave your wife and marry me, Natsu-san? <coughs> Whoa, are you all right? You just spilled your coffee. Let me wipe up your mouth. Uh, no, you don't have to. I just bursted out my drink because I couldn't believe what you just said, Naito. What? What do you mean you couldn't believe it? You taught me so much stuff and helped me out a lot. You've changed me, Natsu-san. You have to take responsibility for that. Hey, can you not say stuff like that? People are gonna get really confused. I was just your trainer when you joined the company, that's all. Anyway, just break up with your wife already, sir. What the heck? No, what are you saying? Huh, you're playing hard to get, huh? But I'll make you mine one day, I swear to God! I told you what- uh, she's gone. <sighs> my name is Natsuo. I'm 30 years old and I'm married. I got a wife and kids, but my subordinate Naito keeps on flirting with me and I'm tired of it. If any rumors start to spread regarding me and her, I'll definitely be in trouble. <laughs> it's odd being so popular with girls, huh? Ami, uh, you can stop making fun of me, you know? I'm not making fun of you. Are you sure? Anyways, uh, did you forget that I'm your boss, Ami? So what? So, use formal language to me, please? This is also my subordinate, Ami. I was also her trainer when she first joined the company, but for some reason she's acting extra bossy towards me. It honestly feels like she's my boss right now. Why does this company have so many weird girls like them? I'll start doing that once you earn my respect. What? You don't respect me right now? Yeah, right now I definitely have no respect for you. What do you mean by that? I'm not letting that slide today. You seem like you're not one bit worried about your relationship with Saya. But you'll get in trouble if you don't change that. I'll get in trouble? Yeah, you might even lose your whole family for it. And you're just smiling and flirting with her without having any worry about that. How'd you expect me to respect someone like that? What do you even mean by that? How will any of that lead to losing my family? Sai is being serious, you know. What? No way, that's not true at all. She's just joking around. Not so. Do you know that there's a rumor going around about you having an affair with Saya? What? What? Are you serious? That rumor is going around already? That's right. Oh man, that is not good. Oh, and you know who spread that rumor? How would I know that? Oh, wait, is it you, Ami? You little moron. Why the heck would I do something that stupid? Stop calling me a moron. Then who the heck spread this rumor then? Obviously, it's Saya. Naito did? Why would she spread her own rumor? What's the point of doing that? I don't get it. If the rumor spreads far enough to your wife, you'll definitely have a fight with her. That's exactly what she's going for. So be careful how you interact with her, alright? I suggest you don't talk to her again. If you don't keep a distance with her, you'll find out the hard way. <laughs> what are you saying, Ami? I think you watch way too many movies. <laughs> There's no way that she would go out of her way just to do that. Jeez, that's why I don't have respect for you. I did warn you, though, so I don't care what happens to you now. <laughs> alright, anyways, uh, thank you for your warning. Man, that was way too funny. In what world would Naito possibly be planning on doing that? She's obviously just joking around. She's been acting like that ever since I first met her. I didn't know Ami would fantasize about that kind of thing, though. But it is definitely not good that the rumor is going around. I should just go and talk to Naito. Natsu-san! Let's go for a drink after work! No can do. My wife cooked a dinner for me and it's waiting at home. Dang, you're so boring! Oh, uh, by the way, Naito, I heard there's a rumor going around the company about us. What a rumor? So, you don't know about it, huh? Apparently, it's about me having an affair with you, Naito. It's stupid. I don't want you to get in trouble for this rumor. Get me in trouble either, so let's not make other people confused, alright? <laughs> I don't mind at all, actually. If anything, I feel pretty happy about that. Hey, come on, now's not the time for jokes. I mean, I was the one who started the rumor. Huh? Uh, did you just say something? Nothing, sir, don't worry. I guess I'll invite you some other time, sir. Dang it, I'm so lonely! I did tell her, so I think I'm good for now. A few days later... Hey, not so well. Department Chief, uh, how can I help you, sir? I need you to go on a business trip. 
Huh? I mean, yes, of course. Uh, where am I going to, sir? You'll be going to Okinawa. Okinawa, got it. I really need you to go out of everyone, okay? Uh, please, I can't ask anyone else. Of course, I'll go on this business trip, sir. Really? Thank you so much. Thank you. Natsuo, thank you so much. You're thanking me way too much, sir. What is going on? You're kind of scaring me, sir. Uh, no, it's nothing. Uh, just don't worry about it. Uh, you don't have to worry about a thing. I see? All right, then. Well, I guess I'll start getting prepared for it. Oh, and uh, on what day am I going to Okinawa? The day after tomorrow. Uh, what? The day after tomorrow? That soon? You told me that you'll be going, right? I mean, there's no way you're backing down now, are you? Uh, please, I beg of you, I need you to go, Natsuo! Ah, oh, please, raise your head, Chief. What are you doing, sir? I don't understand. What is going on? Can you promise me to go? I won't raise my hand until you say that you will go. Alright, I promise to go, okay? So please, just raise your head, sir. Thank you so much, Natsuo. I promise I will not forget about this. Thank you so, so much. Ah... <sighs> All right, well, you better start backing up soon. Got it, sir. Ooh, there we go. Now we're all good. Huh, what the heck was that about? I guess they finally start to take an action, huh? Uh, what? I mean, uh, what do you mean? I mean, that Saya start to take an action. What? Are you still talking about that? Last night, I saw Saya inviting the chief for a drink. She probably had a conversation with him, found out his secrets, and now she's blackmailing him to tell you to go to a business trip. What in the world? You're just too crazy with your fantasies, Ami. I hope it's just fantasy too, man. Stop it, don't say stuff like that. Saya's really trying to get you in trouble. I'm feeling this hunch. You better be careful, man. Alright, fine. I got it. I'll be careful. Anyways, you can start using formal words to me now. And on the day of the trip... All right then, Akina. How do? I'll see you guys in a week. All right. Good luck, honey. Daddy. Bye bye. This trip will be about a week long. I'm really gonna miss my family, but I gotta focus up. Let's see. Where's the gate? Hey. What? Why are you here, Ami? I came to deliver a message from the department chief. A message? Yeah, a message. It's about your business trip. What? What happened? The thing is... What? You better be kidding me! It's true. Good luck, I'll be going now. No way! No way that's actually happening. But man, I did say that I'll go already, so I guess I'll have to. Uh, and a week after that, finally I can see my family, I'm home! Akina, Haru, I'm home! Uh, wait, what? They're both outside, huh? Oh, come on, I was expecting a hug from them. I guess that I'll just wait for them to come home. Oh, uh, there we go. That must be them. Hey, welcome home! Uh, Akina, what's going on? Where's Haru? I dropped her off at my mom's house. What? I wanted to meet her. I haven't seen you guys in so long. If you didn't do what you did, you would have seen her! What? Excuse me, sir. Huh? Who are you? I realized there was a guy with glasses who came in after my wife. Please take my name card, sir. A lawyer? Why is a lawyer here at our house? I was asked to help your wife with, uh, your case of affairs. So I'll be suing you for consolation money, sir. What? An affair? Come to the court now! I'll make you pay for betraying your own family! Please, you have to calm down, ma'am. As long as you pay the consolation money, I don't have to take this to court. Hold on a second here, I never had an affair with anyone. I swear! I swear to God I didn't betray my family at all. How can you say that? We literally have all the evidence right here, look! What are all these pictures? You lied about going on a business trip to go on a vacation with that woman, right? I don't know who put this in there, but all three were inside our mailbox! That is not true! I have no idea what this is! I can't believe you're still denying it after seeing those pictures! Uh, wait, this is... Naito... That's right! She's a woman from your company, Naito-san! We actually heard everything from Naito-san too, you know? Wait, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I didn't do anything. I'm terribly sorry for all of this, ma'am. Naito? Please tell them, Naito, that this is all just big misunderstanding, okay? You little... 
You really had the courage to see me again, huh? I just wanted to apologize to you. I just started to develop feelings for Natsuo-san as he was very kind to me when he was teaching me about work. I knew it wasn't going to work out because he was married, but I just couldn't hold it in. And before I realized, we just ended up in this relationship. What the heck are you talking about? Ma'am, as you can see in the picture, Natsuo-san and I are in love. We will pay the consolation money, so please can you just let him go? Hey, Naito! Stop saying that much of nonsense! You're not helping at all! You're right. There's no reason for me to be with someone who doesn't love me. I feel a bit calm now. As long as you pay for my emotional damage, I'm fine with that. Akina, hold on a second. Sir, I think it's best for you to just pay her money and then leave. I'll talk to you about the child support later. I didn't do anything! I'm telling you guys, I love Akina and Haru. If you really loved us, you wouldn't do this. That's all, son. You kept saying how much you hated your wife and daughter. You're finally free now. You don't have to hide it anymore. Whoa, you were saying that, huh? Well, good for you. You'll never see us again. I didn't say anything like that. Why don't you believe me? I don't get it. What the heck is going on right now? This is crazy. <laughs> mm, who are you, ma'am? My name is Ami, and I'm the ruler of this whole world. Huh? Why the heck are you here, Amy? Ami? I told you, didn't I? That you'll lose your whole family. This is what happens when you don't listen to what I say. <laughs> That's all. I'll put you in even more misery. Great, you're gonna cause me more trouble, huh? First of all, ma'am, Not so all didn't do anything. She's just lying. What are you saying? There's literally pictures of him right here, and she's admitting to having an affair with him too. Saya is lying to you. That picture is edited, and so are all the other pictures in your mailbox. Huh? What are you saying? Are you out of your mind? Can you mind your own business? How is that possibly an edited photo? Do you have any evidence to prove that it is? I do have evidence. What? This picture was taken in Okinawa. I see the Kokusai Street, and right here it has the day the picture was taken. It says this picture was taken on the day before yesterday. Well, that is right, he did go on a business trip to Okinawa, but so what? Oh, uh, I never went to Okinawa in the first place. What are you saying, Natsuo-san? We went to Okinawa together! That day, when I was about to go on the flight to Okinawa, Ami stopped me and told me my destination was changed, so I didn't even go to Okinawa in the first place. What? Show them the evidence for that. Evidence? I know you have it, the perfect evidence. You rushed home to get that thing before you got on the flight, right? That thing? Oh yeah, look at my passport, you guys. No way. There's a record of you going overseas for the past seven days. I forgot to tell you this, Akina. I'm sorry. That passport is definitely real. What the heck is going on? It means this was all Saya's plan. To have you guys divorced and steal Natsuo from you. She slept with a department chief who was married, of course, and blackmailed him into forcing Natsuo on a business trip to Okinawa. Uh, I didn't do any of that! That's a lie! I heard everything from him already. What? When I showed him this picture, he told me everything. Immediately. What is this picture? Is that a picture of you going into a hotel with Chief? I never went into this hotel with him! <gasps> <laughs> I just used the same trick you did. This picture's just edited. Whatever you do, I can do much better, you know. And so I changed Natsuo's destination last minute by blackmailing him. Wow, you really did that, huh? So, does this mean it was all her lie? Why? Why the heck did you do this to me, Naito? B because I had no choice! I just couldn't hold in my love for you, Natsuo-san! I knew you had a wife and daughter, but I... <laughs> Can you truly become happy by stealing someone from someone? I don't think so. If you really love Natsuo, then you should have celebrated his happiness instead of breaking it and dragging him out of it. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand even half of what I've been through. 
I understand. I really do. Well, anyway, I'll be going now. Ami, thank you so much for saving me. Th thank you so much. <laughs> I guess we're all good now, huh? Natsuo, I'm really sorry for doubting you. No, don't be. It's not your fault. I should have been more careful with how I treated the people around me. Just like Ami said. Isami-san, maybe, like... Huh? I mean, never mind. We should give something back to her some other time. Uh, yeah, you're right. And so I was saved from having a divorce with Akina. Just like Ami said, I really was on the verge of losing my family. I cannot thank Ami enough. I'll be extra cautious about this kind of stuff from now on. On another note, Saya left the company soon after, and she was sued by the department chief's wife for consolation money, and she is in a lot of debt right now. Chief took a punishment too. His face was all swollen up when I saw him the other day at work. His wife must have been really mad at him. He lost a bunch of money as well, and he's only been eating about sprouts recently. And somehow his wife also asked him to pay me money for causing trouble, so he did. Ami, I, mean, I just want to say that I'm really thankful to you. I hope you can become a respectable boss someday. Man, you always have something extra to say, huh? Well then, my wife and daughter are waiting for me, so I'll get going. Don't take them for granted, alright? Of course. <laughs> alright then, I guess I'll go too. Ami-san! Ami, there you are! Tsubaki, Koharu. We're going to go out for a drink tonight and was wondering if we should invite you. You wanna come with? Nah, I'm good. What are you doing, Tsubaki? Tsubaki-san? I just thought you looked a bit lonely, so... Hug! Leave me alone! And I'll hug her too! St stop it, you guys! Did we cheer you up? How do you feel? Uh, uh, of course not. Nothing's changed. But I, I did change my mind, actually. Let's go for a drink. Alright, let's go then! We'll drink till we pass out! 